Oh, it smells so good. What's up everybody, Roderick here at the Philly Pretzel Factory. They just opened up here randomly like two weeks ago, so you know I had to come through. What made me want to come through is they have a cheesesteak pretzel, which I didn't actually get today because they were sold out of it because they weren't expecting so many people to come in and get some pretzels. But when you sign up for their app, you get five free pretzels, no strings attached, you don't have to buy anything or anything. And they're hot and fresh, like they were pretty busy. I had to wait about 15 minutes for these things. Some people bought a whole party tray, like of 100 pretzels and they get cheap, you get 100 pretzels, they're only 35 cents each. That's crazy! Now when you buy one, it's a dollar, but every time you keep increasing your quantity, they keep dropping in price. Five of them is only three bucks normally, so that's a really good deal too. Where they're making their money though is the sauce. Start at 50 cents, so I had to get some cheese sauce, it's in here somewhere, but let's see, look at this. The bag is so hot because it just came out of the oven. I'm glad I had to wait because, oh, cold pretzels are not good. They actually ship in the dough from Philly. She said she's gonna get a shipment tomorrow of the cheesesteak pretzels and I'm gonna come back for some of them. And what's awesome is the pretzels are made fresh every day. Like you can see them in the back. They're coming through the little conveyor belt. Then they cook them. It's pretty amazing. And at the end of the day, any pretzels left over, they donate to a homeless shelter. So that's amazing right there. So let's see. Oh, wow. Okay, so let's see. I'm not, so it looks like, ow. <laughs> Three of them are stuck together here. So right here, we have three pretzels. They're stuck together and wow, they're like in a figure eight right here. I don't know if it's just because I've never been to Philly and this is how Philly pretzels are, but oh my God, look at that. Oh, ah, so hot. You know what? I need a thumbnail with all the pretzel action. Oh, it smells so good. Mm. Okay, enough playing around, you guys. I want to eat this while it's hot and fresh. Oh, the cheese sauce is even super hot. Ow! All right, so, okay, let me open up the cheese sauce. They don't have spicy cheese sauce, but they do have spicy mustard. Oh. You know what, it might be spicy. It smells kind of like jalapenos. Oh, I'm loving it. <laughs> this is just, everything's just going great, other than them not having the cheesesteak pretzel, which I wanted, but wow. I'm glad I got some free pretzels here. Look at that. Oh, so soft. They smell so good. Oh my gosh. This is the first time I've had like super hot pretzels right from the oven. All those places in the mall, they're always sitting there cold under the heat lamp. So, let's see how I do this. Oh, I know I'm gonna burn my mouth with this. But I don't care. Oh! Mmm. It's funny. When I was looking on their website, they call their pretzels real pretzels. I'm like, what's a real pretzel? Now I know. This is a real pretzel. This is like the best pretzel I've ever had. Look at that. Oh. So fluffy, nice hard on the outside, soft on the inside. Got some salt. Maybe I don't like salt. Should have got no salt. But not too bad mm, nice and thick i'm definitely not gonna be able to eat five of these mm. look at that mm, mm, mm. oh i can't say i'm disappointed Oh my gosh, this is my new go-to pretzel place. Definitely. Mmm. It's funny, she's like, oh, there's gonna be a little wait because they're gonna come out of the oven. Is that okay? I'm like, hell yeah, it's okay. Oh, there's a lot of salt in this one. Yeah, next time I'm gonna get no salt. It's not too bad. That's weird, usually it's really salty. Yeah. Still a little, uh, yeah. Let me know, do you guys like salt on your pretzels? Oh. Just this cheese sauce. Oh, wait, I'm not even paying attention. Yeah, I wouldn't call it spicy. It's good though. But I would definitely love some of some jalapeno on the side. Mm hmm. Oh, 
I can't wait for that cheesesteak prop to though. Like, that's gonna be delicious. Like, I'm not sure. Well, I guess it's pretty simple, right? It was basically a pretzel with cheesesteak inside. On the menu, they had cheesesteak rivets too. So those are the little bite-sized pretzels with cheesesteak inside? Is that is that what it is? Like, how do they do that? <laughs> I don't know if I should get those or the full-size cheesesteak. Maybe both. Why not? Mm. Wow. So glad I came out here. Never thought I would enjoy pretzel so much. I mean, to be honest, I'm not sure if it tastes any different than a regular pretzel. Maybe it's just because it's fresh I'm loving it. But that's good right there. It's fresh. And the dough comes from Philly. That's kind of weird. Like, why would it need to come from Philly? Couldn't they have like a recipe and then they can make it here? Like, I don't know the difference. But, mm. But the value here? <laughs> come on now. Pretzels at, what, like Auntie Anne's? What's that other place? Um, In the mall? <laughs> I can't even remember. It's out of my mind. I don't care anymore. Their pretzels are pretty expensive. Dollar, like 35 bucks for a hundred pretzels in a huge box? Like that's a good deal. I might just get that for the next party I go to. Hey guys, I brought some real pretzels. Try these things out. Mm. Wow, I actually do want more. Oh wow. See this cheese sauce was 75 cents. Not the biggest in the world. A cup of mustard this size is 50 cents. So, I mean, that's where they're making their money. The pretzels are a buck. Okay, 75 cents for some dipping sauce. <laughs> that's where they get you, because, I mean, pretzels are really cheap to make, right? It's just flour and whatnot. Now, the cheese sauce, that's a different story. But, wow, I still got four pretzels left in the bag. Mm. Philly Pretzel Factory. Way over here on the west side of the country. That's crazy, I was gonna say west coast, but I'm not technically on the coast, I guess. But wow, definitely recommend checking them out if you have one near you. If not, go email them, spam their emails, be like, yo, we need one right here, right now, immediately. Roderick said it was the best pretzel in the world, we gotta get some, and maybe they'll come to your neck of the woods. Hopefully they open up some more around here. I mean, this is the only one in this whole state. So, come on, I mean, it's probably the start of something amazing. I can't wait. But let me know if you ever tried them. Let me know what your favorite pretzels are. Let me know if you like salt on your pretzels. Thumbs up, red subscribe button, get the merch, social media, and I'll see you in the next one.